Hello, me it's Calls What's going on? It's Andrew or Scottish Q here, and today I bet you've been waiting for this if you saw my other video. These are my replica, replica homemade Amazing Spider-Man web shooters, and they're not great, but I really enjoyed them. Uh, enjoyed, enjoy them. They're really cool in my opinion. So you're gonna wonder how these are made. Uh, first, I'll just go over the general design. Left, right, they're based off The Amazing Spider-Man, not The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So they're made with watches and uh, Lego and Mingo chips, and then a leather strap, and Velcro, and glue. Um, so basically, how this works is I got a leather strap from where my mom works at, and I took, there was like a, normally a little piece here that went across, for whatever reason, I took those out, put Velcro there, so these are actually able to come off and been able to put on, for instance, another Spider-Man suit, um, like a costume or whatever, if you want to make sure that they're not on the bands, but this is meant for more Peter Parker, because uh, he would wear them, he'd wear them on his wrists like that. And uh, basically what I did was I took, the, I took watches from my uncle, uh, he gave them to me, and they're really cheap black ones. They're... Um, metal casings, glass front, uh, metal back, not waterproof, nothing super cool, but I took the inside of the watch, um, which normally be facing downward, so what you're seeing is actually the inside of the back of the watch, and right there is actually where the battery would go. Uh, you can see that here too, and what I did is I flipped it around to the front and put it in, but I first did I paint the green lines which there happened to be a perfect um, little copper coil there for me to paint over. And I also had to make sure that where the battery was was normally green to indicate the battery. I had to paint that over. And I had to get these situated in there. And in here, um, there was going to be Velcro. I think there still is um, to just push this towards the screen so when I'm glued it in when I if when it moved around it didn't make noises and rattle around and get out of line so now there's that velcro in there meant to hold it together and it's not perfectly seamless because for some reason after painting it um, I had to sand the inside for it to even like sort of clip together I don't know if it because of so because sat out for so long I don't know if it like shrunk somehow or something happened, even though it's metal. I, I have no idea. Something changed. But what I did from then on, after designing it, was get the pieces that I needed. So I got two Lego pieces. They're glued on here not very well. Uh, there's no way for me to change that. But here would be a twisty knob. So I took just a cylinder painted it silver and glued it on with uh, super glue and the back same thing but this I don't know even what this piece is called it looks like two cylinders combined into one I glued it on the back uh, I also had to paint the whole watch casing and that took a long time a lot of patience actually when trying to uh, first assemble it without gluing the backs on like I ended up having to um, Without doing that I ended up scratching tons of the paint off so I had to go back and completely redo that um, And like I did not use sealer, but it's like a clear coat basically over it To make sure the paint doesn't come off immediately it will come off eventually if I end up do wearing these a lot, but um so then I had to add a bingo chip, which is glued on with super glue, because super glue, super, super glue dries uh, clear, if not um, almost clear like that. You can see it's not perfectly clear, but it's basically perfectly clear on this one. Um, and that was also based on the movie, um, the Amazing Spider-Man. So I like these a lot. They're actually really, in my opinion, well designed. They look really good, especially being homemade. They're not perfect replicas by any means, but I really like what they are. And um, eventually, I might add more straps here, just to give it some more 
tone and definition, but otherwise this is basically the finished product. Um, so what do they look like on the, the wrist? Well, it has these snaps, so left, put it on the left, this is the front, this is the back, and then as painful as it is for me to put it straight down, I kind of have to. So like that, and then I have small wrists, so we'll go to, uh, unless the leather shrunk, in which case this may not matter. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice and snug. So it fits there on the wrist. And we'll do it to this one as well. I'm gonna try not to destroy the the paint or not. All right, so here's what it looks like on the wrist. So I have the snaps facing away. Um, and yeah, there's not much else to say. I have the snaps facing away. And they just kind of look like that. I really like what they look like. Um, maybe eventually I'll add like some orangey looking piece so I can have the, the pressure pads. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. That's very complicated and I have no idea how I would even achieve that. But yeah, I like these a lot and they took forever. And by taking forever, I mean I just didn't work on them for months. So... Basically, this was a nine month project or so, just for this, but they turned out really good anyway, even though I did also super glue my fingers, which was not good. I had to pick that off for hours and hours and hours, but yeah, these have been finished for a while as well, like a couple weeks, maybe a month. But I finally making a video on it, and I hope that you enjoyed. Like the video if you liked it. Favorite video is favorite. Do like to share the video and subscribe for more. Uh, maybe there will be more videos on these. I doubt it. But, yeah. So I hope that you are inspired to make your own web shooters. And I will see you all later. Take care. Bye!